Hi, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com. In this video we will continue our Crystal Ubuntu installation and we're going to modify some system files on our Crystal Ubuntu thumb drive so that we can boot our Apple TV with no hard drive installed. The reason that we need to do this is that the boot device itself has listed the primary drive as the hard drive and the secondary drive as a USB device. Since the hard drive is gone, the USB device will actually be the primary drive. So we need to modify the com.apple.boot.plist file in the recovery partition and the fstab file in the Linux partition. To do that, go to quicksventure.com and pull up the guide on how to modify the thumb drive and copy the commands directly from that guide. We need to do this in Linux because we need an operating system that can read the GPT partition table on the thumb drive itself. Windows can't do that, but anything like Linux Mint or Ubuntu or all sorts of other Linux distros will be able to read those partitions. Once you've booted to Linux and plugged in the thumb drive, you should see on your desktop the recovery and Linux partitions mounted. Mint does this automatically. Some other Linux distros you're going to have to actually go through the process to mount them. Once you see the partitions mounted, go ahead and open up a terminal window. The first thing we need to do is modify that uh, com.apple.boot.plist file and we do that in gedit. You have to use sudo because the file is read-only unless you're an administrator. sudo gedit slash media slash recovery slash com.apple.plist is the command. When you open the file you're going to see this string near the bottom and it's defining the root directory as dev slash sdb3. And that stands for SCSI disk B, which is the secondary disk, and partition number 3. We need to switch sdb3 to sda3 because we are going to remove the hard drive, causing the USB drive to become the sda device. Simply change sdb3 to sda3, go to File, and Save. That's all you have to do to that file, so close it. And then we need to do a very similar set of changes within the fstab file on the Linux partition. The recovery partition is more like the BIOS to the Apple TV. The Linux partition is the actual file system that Ubuntu uses when you're running Ubuntu on the Apple TV. So the command for fstab is sudo gedit slash media slash linux slash etsy slash fstab. When you open that file in gedit, you're going to see the same set of slash dev slash sdb3 and sdb2. The first set of sdb3 is the uh, pointing to the third partition, and the uh, sdb2 is pointing to the second partition. In any case, we need to switch every sdb to sda. Just use the keyboard. Make those changes. There are four of them and then save the file. Once it's saved, close gedit, and that's all there is to it. Now you can shut down the Linux computer, pull out the USB thumb drive, and plug it into your Apple TV that has the hard drive removed. It will not work if the hard drive is still in the Apple TV, so you only need to go through this process if you've actually removed the hard drive, and if you've done that, you've probably also removed the fan. For a full set of instructions on how to do that, go to quicksventure.com and watch the video about modifying the hardware of your Apple TV. Thanks for watching. This is Mark with quicksventure.com.